Thank you, Chair. Mr. Speaker, at this time, I'd like to yield four minutes to the sponsor of this important legislation, Mr. Smucker, from my home state of Pennsylvania and a key member of the Keystone Coalition. Mr. The gentleman Smucker. from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I uh, rise in support of and to ask my colleagues' support for uh, H.R. 2866, the Reducing, Reducing Barriers for Relative Foster Parents Act. And I'd like to first thank uh, my friend and colleague from Pennsylvania for his uh, leadership and sponsorship of this bill. I'd like to thank uh, the chair of the Ways and Means Committee, uh, Rep. Uh, members of the Ways and Committee for bringing this uh, bill to the floor, and I'd like to thank my co-introducer of the bill, uh, Representative Sewell from Alabama as well, for the work that uh, she's done in regards to foster care issues over the years. Uh, every child, Mr. Speaker, deserves a loving home. But when a child's home is no longer safe, often because of abuse, neglect, or behavioral issues, children are placed in foster homes. In fact, in 2015, more than 670,000 American children, 16,000 in Pennsylvania, the state, uh, my district, uh, more than 16,000 there have spent time in foster care. Countless families across the country are willing and eager to accept foster children into their homes. And research shows that placement with relatives is better for the child. Therefore, federal policy should make it easier for foster children to be placed with family members. Our bill will be considered today on the floor, and again, I ask for my colleagues' support you know, when it comes to finding loving homes for children, this is a bipartisan issue. There are no Republicans or Democrats, just mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles, and sons and daughters who believe each child should have a bed to be tucked in into at night in a loving home. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to also note that the following organizations have expressed support for H.R. 2866, the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, Child Welfare League of America, First Focus, March of Dimes, and the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners. Again, I'd like to thank uh, Representative Sewell from Alabama uh, for her work on foster issues and for her leadership on this bill. We really appreciate your work. I yield back, Mr.